So how do I invest $5,000 and in that case, double my money. And I'll just cut to the chase. So let's check this out. I'll cut right to the chase here. For 5,000 bucks, especially in this time right now, especially in this time where people are going in between jobs or in between potentially careers or businesses, I'd tuck that money away in an emergency account. And I'd invest in one thing. Your best investment is what? Yourself. So that's what I did. Come here, come check this out. This, this is me. This is me as a single father. Come here. This is me as a single father, right? This is my two boys. And I'm about to go on a deployment. I don't know why my aunt took this picture, but my family's about getting ripped. I was going through a divorce. I'm about to go to a deployment. I'm in a very uncomfortable decision. I don't know why my aunt took this picture, okay? And here, here, here's another picture. I put this up on my board to always remind me, this is not my checking account. This is not my ATM receipt. At a time where I could barely take money out of the ATM, I went to the ATM to take out 20 bucks. And this ATM receipt was just sticking out, of the, sticking out the machine. So I grabbed the receipt, and the person in front of me, who I don't know who that was, they left the receipt, and they got $500 out of their bank account. Make matters worse, they also left $114,000 in their account, and I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing this at a point in my life, I'm going through my own financial crisis. I'm like, God, what are you trying to tell me right now? You put me through this crisis, put me through this ATM, what are you trying to tell me? So... For many of you, especially during this crisis, especially during this pandemic, I'm getting a lot of questions like this. What do I do with $1,000? What do I do with $5,000? How do I double my money? How, how do I, I don't know, roll the dice in a stock market or roll the dice online or roll the dice in a business where I can double my money here in the next 30, 60, 90 days? I'm telling you right now, the best investment for you is to tuck your money away so you can have some cushion to put your money away to pay some bills, but your biggest investment right now would be you. I'm saying this, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not an investment advisor. I'm just telling you what happened to me and how I earned over $5 million in a five and a half year period. Here's one thing I realized, the best investment, the best insurance to buy is income insurance. What am I talking about? It's not something you buy a life insurance company. It's you buying insurance on information and education to take you, financially speaking, to the next level. Come over here, let's, let's take a look at this. And I realized that many different ways to make money in our country. Okay, so, so many, of you, many of you read that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and you may have seen the cash flow quadrant. If you know what the cash flow quadrant is, let me, let me review it with you. Robert Kiyosaki writes in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, there's four major ways to make money in our country. You make money as an employee, you make money as a self-employed person. So, so employee, you're filling out a W-2, right? Here, you're a 1099, you're a 100% commission salesperson, you're a doctor, you're an attorney, you're a dentist, you're an athlete, self-employed, or, or you're an actor, you're an artist, we have to sell services or sell a product to make money. Here, you trade, you trade time for money, nine to five, clock in, clock out, you get your cash. 90% of people in America are right here, boom. And that's why 90% of people in America are hurting. Very rarely do you get people over here to come to the right side of the quadrant because, because that's about being a business owner. That's about being an entrepreneur. And, and he, de he describes a small business of 500 plus or more employees Brand ambassadors, independent contractors, because you got a system and a process that runs your business without your direct involvement all the time in everything, you still make money. See, that's a business. Okay, sometimes, uh, 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 I remember when I got involved in my own financial insurance practice, I put CEO on my business card, thinking that I'm a business owner. Listen, man, I'm a, I'm a glorified salesperson. I'm not a CEO. You know why? I'm a glorified salesperson because I don't have a, si a system or a process Helping me make, make helping me make money, and last but not least, as an investor, you've seen Shark Tank. So let, let's go through it real quick. Four major ways to make money. If I had five thousand dollars, what I do with it? Number one, I understand the rules of how to make money. This is part of the money game. How do I make money where I am in control of my finances? Okay. So first way to make money is be active. Punch in, punch out, you got a nine to five, you got a job, W-2. That's called active income. You have to actively work for it. You're earning it, okay? And the IRS considers this type of income, not only is it limited in terms of what you can make, but the, the IRS considers this some of the most highly income taxable income that you can make. It's called earned income, okay? And it's also not only highest taxable, but it's also limited because there's only so many 9 to 5, 40, 50, 60 hour overtime weeks that you can work. There's only so many homes. There's only so much legal services. 
There's only so many teeth you got to clean, so many patients you got to see, so many clients to train. There's only so many insurance policies you can sell in order for you to make money. That's called limited income. Why? Because you got to sleep, you got to eat, you got a family, you got a life.